Hello everybody. Welcome to the next episode. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about developing a facade that is similar to the Broad Museum. <coughs> we are going to use a plugin called Lunchbox and uh, in that we're going to use this component called Skewed Quads. So basically, we're going to modify our set of chords using an attractor. So first, let's establish a plane. So in my case, I've taken YZ as my main plane and then I'm going to make a rectangle in that plane. Yep, we very that. So to do that, uh, we need to give some values for the X and Y. So I'm considering 100 for the X and 25 for the height, which is, a which is the Y direction. Okay. Now we need to establish the the quads. So to do that, I'm going to hit or I'm going to just drag down squared quads and then I'm going to give some values to the U and B. As you can see, we have a set of polygons on the surface, but we need to modify it a little more. So I'm going to hit the values for 40 and 20 for U and V. Yeah, I think this looks fine to go ahead. Now in the next process, we need to disconnect all these quads from each other so that we can better control it. So to do that, first let's merge the incomplete and the completed quads. And after doing that, we need to establish the center points. So using area component, we can do that. And then we can directly scale it to a, reach to a figure of 0.98 just to get it detached from others. And, and it should also not totally look like it's totally disconnected. So let me zoom here for you to have a better look at it. Yeah, as you can see the gap between the two quads. Now the next process is going to be joining the joining the four curves of this quad together to make one single poly line. To do that, uh, I'll be requiring a component called deconstruct B rep, and then as you can see in the panel that there are four line like curves. So I'm gonna hit join curve component and connect them. So now it's just one single polyline curve. So after this, uh, I want to offset this polyline curve. And so to do that, I'm going to use scale component. I can establish the centers. And I'm going to hit a factor of 0.8 in this case. Yeah. Now, the next process is to fill it or chamfer the edges by giving it a radii. I, d I want curved edges, I don't want a rigid one. So, I'm going to use this component called fillet. Oh, I think I've uh, used a different fillet component. Let me just fix this. Yeah, so the first one. Yeah, in this case, we just require a radius. So we're giving a radius of 0.7. And you can see we have achieved a set of curved polylines. Okay, now we need to get the areas of it and offset it in a different direction. So the next part is going to be arriving to a sense of direction and, a, and the offset distance can be controlled using remap. But we don't want to offset it in X or Y direction. We want it to be offset to a particular point. So that is where we're going to establish our closest point. So in Rhino interface, let's establish a point first. I'm going to hit point and then I'm going to establish that point on the Rhino interface. As you can see, we have two points, so we don't need one. I'm going to remove it off. Let's bring to the point to the center and then maybe towards the right so that the modification is more enhanced this way. Yeah, and functionally you can use it where you want the openings to be larger. So the, this, the function of this facade is you can use it in such a way where you want to show things outside and when you want to control the vision that comes inside. So basically that way your attractor point can be located. So for that, first we need to control the offset distances. So to do that, I'm gonna hit uh, 
bounds and get the domain first using those distances and then I'm going to remap those distances or I'm going to remap the offset distances according to the uh, according to the thickness I need so in our case we keep it very thin because it's just a facade and it's it, it is preferred to be as thin as possible so I'm going to take consider the values from 0 0.09 to 1.05 well, yeah. so you won't see the change immediately we need to first now decide the vectors so we need to find the direction or maybe we can modify a little more with a graph mapper so to just get a better aesthetic geometry so I'm going to use a Bezier curve graph mapper over here Yeah, this way I'm going to control it a little more. Now I need to establish the direction. So I'm going to use two points to get the vectors. One is the point that we established in Rhino and the other ones are the centers that we established using area components. So this way every center is connected to that point which is the attractor point. So that way our direction is certain now and every offset, this offset is going to happen in the direction. Now the distance that we require is also been set which is 0.09 to 1.05 so we're gonna use amplitude component which will help us collect all the data and then hit it to the move component as a direction the geometry that we're moving here is the fillet input yeah fillet set of course yeah as you can see the geometry is moved already you wouldn't be able to figure it out unless you loft it i'll just show it in the plan you can see the gradation how it's happening Now let me just merge these two curves so that you can understand how the offset and how the direction of the offset has worked. So my first set of curves is going to be this the new curves that I got which is offsetted and the second set would be the second set would be the fillet curves. Yeah, now I'm going to just hit loft. I'm going to display only what is required. And as you can see in the right side, there's a little bit of more openings on the right side. And that you can control that using the attractor point. But now we need to establish the central surface, like the connecting surface, to hold all these modules together. To do that, we will use merge component and loft the curves from the fillet component and then a curves from the join curves component because in that way we can get the front fascia so let me just loft that it's going to take a little while but let me bake it to bake it and show it to you yeah as you can see there's a slight variation in the openings in the direction towards the point and we have a front fascia also established. Hope you guys really liked my video and it was helpful for you guys. So please keep like, uh, liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. It helps a lot and see you in the next. Thank you.